I like to travel light, but I like to surf when I travel. This is all I brought on a two week trip to Japan, and there's fins and a hand plane in that bag too. I bought a folding longboard so I could surf when I travel, but it's still a big bag. You have to check it, and every time you ship it, there's a chance it's going to get damaged. Eventually I sold it. The last place I want to be is waiting in oversized baggage for a damaged board. I dream of a board I don't have to check a board I can bring on a plane as a carrier. I met a French surfer at Rockaway Beach learning to surf on a catch surf beater. I had heard about the beater and I was excited to get to ride one. I rode the board and really liked the way it surfed. The beater is small, really small. It's only 4'6", and it's a soft board so you don't have to worry about dings. It has three graphite rod stringers and that got me thinking. If it's got three hollow tubes inside it, all you need to do is cut it up and then sleeve the tubes to build a travel board. Step one, all you need is some patience. A Sharpie, a straight edge, and a hacksaw with a 32 TPI blade. Find your center line and draw two perpendicular lines 18 inches from the nose and 18 inches from the tail. Cut carefully along those lines. Stacked, the board is roughly nine inches by 18 inches by 20 inches almost exactly the limit for a carry-on bag. Step two, I measured the inner diameter of the tubes and then searched online for carbon fiber tubes that, with that exact outer diameter. It took a while to find them, but I found a tube that was exactly the right size. I cut the tubes into six inch lengths using the same 32 TPI hacksaw blade. I marked the center of the tubes with a silver marker for alignment and plugged the ends with, a bl with black silicone to keep water out. After I cut the tubes, I taped the board together with duct tape to see what it looked like. I was planning on creating a Velcro mechanism to put the board back together, but the tape seemed fine and it was easy, so I figured I'd go with it. I reached out to Tyler Calloway at FCS Fin Company and told him what I was trying to do. He graciously sent me FCS's softboard fin kit and a set of beautiful bonzer fins. I can add any FCS fins with this kit. FCS is awesome. I found a carry-on bag that's the perfect size for the board. I had no problem getting on the plane with the bag and storing it in the overhead compartment. People thought I was pretty weird taking pictures of my luggage. Here's the bag unpacked. You can see there's plenty of room for the board and your gear without going over the size limit. Between this bag and your personal item, you can travel anywhere. I've tested the board a few times now and it works great. I also had a friend test it who weighs about 180 pounds and the board held up fine. Next version of the board will have a smooth top that takes the tape even when it's damp and a sealed inside so it takes on less water. You can learn more about the project at travelbeaterproject.com. I'm open sourcing this project and I hope other people will try it for themselves and refine and share the concept. Thanks very much.